speed, distance, and time. Okay. So before going in detail, first of all, we have to know what is the distance. In physics, I have explained it very clearly that uh, distance is gap of two points gap of two fixed point see if this one is point a and this one is point b so this is the gap of these two point this is known as distance okay and to cover this distance and to cover this distance we require some time from a to b if we want to go from a to b we require some time if we want to go from B to A, we require some time. So to cover this distance, to cover this distance, we need a time. We need some amount of time, like uh, five minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, is like that. So so to cover that distance, if you require from A. To be like five meter. This is the distance of five meter from A to B. To cover this distance, you require some time. The ratio of that distance and required time to cover this distance. The ratio of given distance and time, which is required to cover that distance, the ratio of distance and time is known as speed, is known as speed. Once again I am repeating, distance means gap between two points, gap between two points to cover this distance we require some time, the ratio of that distance and time is known as speed, speed is equal to distance upon time. Okay. Now, if we want to find out the distance on the basis of speed, then this will be called speed into time. Speed into time. Okay. And now, if we want to find out the time, then time will become on the basis of speed. That is distance. On speed. Okay, so here are three formula basically speed is equal to distance upon time, time is equal to distance upon speed, and distance is equal to speed into time. Now we will see some unit based. So these are the formulas which we require. We have seen that uh, your bike or your scooty is showing 50 km per hour then speed is given every time 50 km per hour 90, 100, 120 km per hour so this is the speed these are the speed always written in like this so what is this? speed unit of speed unit of speed kilometer per hour meter per second okay whenever you are calculating when you are when your distance is in kilometer then time must be in time. and when your distance is in meter then time must be in second kilometer with R, R, meter with second. Once again, kilometer with R and meter with second. What will happen when we require uh, we require meter per second, but it is given in kilometer per hour. So then you have to change from kilometer per hour to meter per second. How can we do that? Let's see. Kilometer per hour into meter per second. 
okay? If you want to change this 30 km per hour into meter per second, then what will you do? You have to use this one. 1 km per hour is equal to 5 upon 18 meter per second. And 1 meter per second is equal to 18 upon 5 km per hour. Okay? 1 km per hour is equal to 5.18 meter per second. And 1 meter per second is equal to 18 upon 5 km per hour. So it is given 36 km per hour into meter per second. So we will use this 1 km per hour is equal to 5.18 meter per second. So 36 km per hour will become 36 multiplied by 5 upon 80. 80 to the 36 by to the 10 meter per second. Okay, 36 kilometer per hour is in meter per second, that is 10 meter per second. So by this method you you will can change the kilometer per hour into meter per second. Okay. Now we will see some word problem on the basis of this. Come on page number 168 exercise 8.5 question is saying if a car cover a distance first of all whatever whatever is given in the question you have to write it see if your observation is good then you can understand each and everything of the question okay so distance is equal to Distance is equal to 258.75 258.75 kilometer and time is equal to 4 whole 1 upon 2 hour. Okay, so we have to find out the speed. See our distance unit is kilometer and our time is in hour. There is, there is no, uh, no need of change. To, uh, anything in any way. Okay, speed is equal to distance upon time. Distance upon time. So distance is 258.75 upon 4 whole 1 upon 2, 4 to the 8, 8 plus 1, 9 upon. So this 2 will go to the numerator. So it will become 258.75 multiplied with 2 upon. Okay, we just solve it, it will be totally divisible from 9. Okay, just solve it and find out the answer. This is the method to solve this question. In the same way, you will do second with the speed of car. Speed is given and time is given. You have to find out the distance beta. So, what is the formula for that? Think. Very good. See, this is the formula when speed is given and time is given and it is asking about the distance. So, distance is equal to speed into time. Now, the third question is the speed of car is given. Find the time taken by the car if the distance covered is 216. See, speed is given, distance is given. You have formula for time. You have formula for time. Time is equal to is uh, distance upon speed. You just apply that formula and put the values and solve it to get the answer. Okay, this is enough for speed, distance, and time. Thanks for.